All right, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Aha, uh -huh. no hat today. You already know. The reason why I don't wear my hair out is because I ain't bald. I'm not going bald. My hair is fine. I just got a big ass forehead. And it's like, if I put my, like, you see this? I put my hand over my head. That's a five head. And my, all my fingers are over my head. It's a five head. So I got a real big ass head. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of insecure about my forehead. The reason why I, I wear hats all the time. But I don't wear hats off camera. I just wear hats on camera. But today, I felt brave. I felt brave. You know what I'm saying? I felt brave. So I said, you know what? Let me show the head. Let me show the head today. I felt brave. And I put the head out. You know what I'm saying? So there it is. Peekaboo, nigga. All right, look. So today, we're going to be talking about uh, Daylight actually exposing all of these guys who were at the pop out concert and they were talking about uh, Kendrick years ago. So before I get into that, you know how I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. This is the ADM show. You mean, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas that's new here. All the ones, that's the beautiful, single, single sexy ladies. Just letting y'all know. They put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, Thank y'all for all the donations. If you want to leave a donation, links is on the screen. Cash app, PayPal's in the description. They called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000, 12,000 real soon. A million by Monday morning. You know what I'm saying? Just to let y'all know. And um, let me know where you're from too, man. I really appreciate all y'all. Thank y'all for everything. All right, so let's get into this, man. Let's go. <laughs> All right, this comes courtesy of Deville. Make sure y'all go subscribe to him. Thanks will be in the screen, the, the description. Let's go. The video about the haters, about people who were hating on Kendrick Lamar, and how when everything had happened, they had switched up and started loving him. I'm gonna play the clip right now. Hey, look, man, I'm from the West Coast. You know what's crazy? I'm gonna go on and say something, and I'm gonna say this loud and clear. I'm gonna say this loud and clear. You know what I really hated about Kendrick Lamar pop out show? And I'm going to say this. I've I, I been wanting to say this a lot. You know what I really hated about the Kendrick Lamar pop out show? It was a lot of this that was saying that rap it wasn't going to work. And these was front row. I'm from the West Coast, so I'm going to go on there and say it. All them used to shit on Kendrick. A lot of this on the West used to shit Kendrick. I remember a lot of this Kendrick never let off his rap. When all he's doing, all these jerks and all the new boy movements and all the mother cat daddies and all that. When y'all were doing, when y'all was on 100% goofy time, y'all, I know y'all, I was shooting videos for everybody. So I heard all. Damn, that's crazy. You see how, you see how, you see how the, the how the boomerang comes back around. That's crazy for these guys. Because I remember, I ain't from the West Coast, but I remember dudes trashing Kendrick. I'm talking like, even, even though he had hits, even though he had singles, even though he was doing his thing, even though he had classics, people would still trash him. Even with classic albums, they were trashing him. Like, I never understood how you trash a man who has multiple classic albums. I never understood it. Who's who's a risk taker who goes out there and risks his career on trying to create things for everybody to listen to? I I never understood how they did that. But let's keep it going. The conversations in everybody's circle. Like man, that rap shit, man, trying to do hear that shit. I remember a lot of on the West Coast is like ain't trying to hear that rap. That ain't gonna work. And these was that was rappers and these was that was quitting rapping and started doing shit so they could try to make it. And to see a lot of these that was front row at the pop out show, knowing that you was the biggest hater in the world is crazy to me. But moving forward, like 
I work with TD Heavy because they really fought through. Now, the interesting part about this is that there was a point in time when Kendrick made the hard part three and how he talked about how there was the new West Coast and that he didn't believe it, that he didn't need it, and that he didn't need to. Yeah, I remember that when he was talking about that in his song. I remember that. See, the thing is, man, a lot of artists who are just as good as Kendrick, I ain't going to say as good as Kendrick, but there are a lot of artists who are, who are really good. They don't get their, they don't get their just rewards. It kind of like, they have to fight tooth and nail to get to where they're at. And people just don't respect them. And it's crazy because usually the artist gets the most pushback. The pop star don't get a lot of pushback because they in their in people's head, he's automatically successful. If he does a song with someone that's pretty popular, he's automatatic successful. They don't give them no, don't criticize him. It's only it's a couple of artists that I noticed that gets a lot of criticism. So Eminem is one, Kendrick is another. People critique everything that Kendrick says. They go through line for line, bar for bar. They don't do that with other artists. You don't see them doing that with these other rappers, some of these so-called mumble rappers or whatever you want to call them. They don't do that. They don't critique everything. They don't go through step by step and line by line. Yo, he said this. But for some reason, they do it with Kendrick. It's like they pull up all his lyrics from Genius. Like, oh, look. Yo, he said this, this. Yeah, this was trash right here. This wasn't even fire. Oh, he got that from Twitter. Somebody said that before him. It's like anything to discredit Kendrick Lamar. Anything you niggas do to try to discredit him. I noticed that. You know what I'm saying? It's like the more lyrical you are, the more diverse you are, the more you are when it comes to uh, making create creative, uh, being, being more creative and being a creator in all your music and what y'all do. Y'all break the man down by trying to downplay everything. But there could be an artist who's not even that good. He's not even that good. He's halfway, not even a 10% of what Kendrick is. And y'all will be like, that was crazy. Because y'all have such low expectations for certain people and high expectations for other people. See, Kendrick Lamar, this is how you know you're biased, right? You don't expect the same thing from a rapper like, uh, let's say, 21 Savage and Kendrick Lamar. You don't expect the same love. They're both rappers. But Kendrick, you expect, this is how you know you're biased. Kendrick, you expect him to be so much more greater. Even though you like 21 Savage, you have to, Kendrick has to be so much more greater because in your head, he's the better artist, but you just don't want to admit it. You just don't want to admit it. Let's keep it going. To fall into the, to the norms of what everybody else was doing at this time, that he continued to strive and rap and focus on lyricism to advance his career. So realistically, I understand what Daylight's trying to say. I just don't know who it is exactly who he's talking about, but I'm sure if he's been in the rooms where people have conversations about this and then he reflects how he feels about seeing people switch up and love Kendrick now, even though that he had heard conversations about them say otherwise, or probably had a different opinion in the past. But I guess all in all, the good thing is, is that everybody had linked up and everybody chose to be cool when it was time to unite from the West Coast. But y'all tell me how y'all feel. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video, man. Peace. Yeah, make sure you go follow the bill. Yeah, man. It's just crazy to me how we sit here and we, kind of like judge a lot of these artists off of them being such a good rapper that it's a turn off. Like I think Kendrick has a perfect balance of being super lyrical and also being appealing. A lot of people don't have that. And you get a lot of these fake, these fake uh, people who follow him around and act as if like he's 
not as good as is his old. Like, there's some people, there's one of my boys, he literally said this to me out of his mouth. Kendrick ain't as good as you think he is. And I said to him, well, wh- why you think that? Because he ain't. I said, tell me how. Like, tell me how he's not as good as I think he is. Because you you comparing him to like legends and like all this stuff. You gotta understand. I'm like, I'm like, anything you pull out, I could pull out and probably would win. Anything. Man, you gotta understand. What about this song here? He ain't get like the you you heard that song from Nas, Blaze of Fifty. What about that joint, bro? Because he ain't got nothing like that. And I'm like, most people never even heard that song. And it's it's more of a, like, I'll be honest with y'all. That shit is more of a, self, a, a, a self-fulfilling a self thing with a lot of these dudes who hate Kendrick. They just don't want him to be the best. And I'm going to be straight with y'all. It's a lot of niggas I know like that. They don't want him to be good. They don't want none of that. You know what I'm saying? They just want him, they kind of want him to go away. They like Drake. They want Drake to be where he's at. They always claiming that they love hip hop so much that they want hip hop to prevail, but they don't they don't follow the guy who is literally hip hop. They don't like it. They're hypocrites. A good portion of these dudes out here. They they're hypocrites. And it's crazy to me how we just accept this. It's like, I don't understand how us as uh, us as fans, real hip hop fans, don't really support. You know, I mean, I I, I think we 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 do it, but we don't hold these other dudes accountable for not doing it and claiming that they do it. It's like really, it's like you really gonna compare Drake to Kendrick Lamar. Like let's be uh, let's be clear here. Let's be honest, because I think I think we not being honest enough. Let's be honest. Y'all really want to compare Drake, Drake, a dude who has ghostwriters, numerous ghostwriters. You know what I'm saying? A dude who can't even come up with concepts on his own. Y'all gonna compare him to Kendrick Lamar, who has four classic albums. So some would even say five. You know what I'm saying? You you even let's even go to J. Cole. You gonna compare J. Cole, J. Cole to Kendrick Lamar off of what? One album that J. Cole got? Forest Hill Drive, that most people don't even remember. It's a dope album. It's a dope album. But I remember people were telling me it's better than Tempemba Butterfly. You think, you think that Forest Hill Drive, Forest Hill Drive is better than Tempemba Butterfly. You are smoking black crack. You're smoking Cajun crack. Burnt crack. The crack that they they, they burnt in the pot. You smoking that crack. The bottom of the barrel crack. Ain't no way in the world. But this is the art. This is the, that's what I mean. Like nobody wants to have these real conversations because they just go, people just go off of how they feel, but we don't want to talk about the actual music and actually what time, how, how much time it took to put into something. Because y'all think it's just like, oh, it's just, this is just an album. To Pimp Butterfly was just an album that he just put together. An album the man just put together. So I understand exactly what Daylight is saying. I get exactly what he's saying. Because he's look, I'm looking at it from the lens of all these dudes who claim that they like Kendrick now. I remember some of these dudes, not them, but I remember some of these dudes who were out here saying he was trash. But they ain't even saying he was trash. They was like, oh, he's not for me. I don't like Kendrick. No, I can't deal with that. No, he ain't. He ain't the wave. If we going on a long drive, who are you putting on? It's like, who's going on a long drive, nigga? Why does it always have to be a scenario where whenever someone argues about Kendrick, Drake, or whoever, right? They always got to put the scenario where 
they are right in this scenario. They can never just give a scenario where it's actually a, a, a scenario where both of y'all, it could be either go either way. It's like on a long drive, who are you playing more? He's like, and then you give you two options, Eminem or Drake. And it's like, then you say, you don't hear Eminem in the hood? You don't hear nobody bumping Eminem. It's like, they set it up that way, whereas every time they argue, argue, you they have to win the argument because they give you the question and they already have a preconceived answer. It's crazy to me. So that's all I'm saying, man. And it's like, I just don't understand how people can claim they want real hip hop. Because most of y'all don't want real hip hop. Y'all are obsessed and y'all in love with numbers. That's it. Y'all don't care about nobody. Y'all don't care about none of these artists. Y'all don't care about the music. Y'all just like the numbers. That's it. Any artist that come out, there is artists that you don't even know the name of the artist. You just know what they're saying and you know that they sold so many copies or you know that they stream so many copies. Because once you once you see that your boy do it, because y'all love validation. Everybody got to be valid. That's why, that's why people always saying, I'm going to wait until I see the reviews. Why? Why do you need to wait to see the reviews? Why can't you just put your own review out? You want to wait to see the reviews because you know that if somebody say it's good, if 10 people say it's good and only three people say it's bad, nine times out of 10, you got the mob mentality. You're going to go right along with what that is. Oh man. They all said it was, they all said it was good. So I guess I got to say it's good too. You know what I'm saying? For, for some artists, but for some artists, y'all don't do that because it's the opposite effect. And especially somebody like Kendrick, because if he is putting the mirror up to you and showing you that this is what you look like, y'all can't stand it. And that's why y'all hate Mr. Morale so much. But either way, man, thank y'all for joining me. Y'all have yourself a good morning, man. Good morning. Y'all have yourself a good morning. Make sure y'all go make y'all some, uh, try something different today. Go make a, go make some Cinnabons, some Cinnabons for breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Try something different. Make some Cinnabons and some sunny side up eggs. I don't know if y'all know how to make those. Well, some of y'all do, but some, most of y'all don't even know what that is. But basically, sunny side up eggs, just for like fry on one side. My cousin likes it like that with the yolk. I, and he sop it up with the biscuit. I don't know about all that. Some people say it's good. I don't know. I tried it once. It was all right, but it wasn't super good. But either way. So make sure y'all try something different, man. And uh, y'all have yourself a good morning. See y'all. Peace. 12 o'clock show coming up. Bye. <laughs>